What's up, Wet Army? In this video, I'm gonna be going over every way you can make more money in order to rebirth faster in War Tycoon. I felt like all the money making guides out there already are pretty outdated and not very useful. In some of them, they share useless information that won't even help you gain anything. But luckily, in this one, everything is straightforward and pretty useful for you guys. If you guys enjoy this video and want more tips and tricks, videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this guide. I'm not trying to waste your time, guys. So I did order everything from most money making to least money making so that you guys won't have to spend a ton of time watching this video Now the tips at the end are kind of basic, but they're still pretty useful for any beginners out there So I felt like I needed to include them. But anyways guys, let's get into the first what the heck is this? All right So there was just some jets flying around me But anyways guys, let's get into the first money making strategy This is the top one All right So the easiest way you can make more money in this game is to spend robux on it to get boosters cash and get Game pass items so as you guys can see here they do offer double the cash auto collect a speedy oil extractor and you can also get a 10,000 shield health uh, I'll be including this in one of my tips later but these items will really just give you a boost and progress so much faster I mean double the cash already increases your progress by double all right and this speedy oil extractor I actually bought it I don't think it's actually worth it for anyone that's actually been playing the game for a decent amount of time if you're just starting out then I would recommend it but it's definitely not required I would just get double cash if you're gonna spend robux on this game next off you can buy cash in this game now i actually think this is a lot worse than just buying the double cash because this is like nothing i'm not exactly sure how much this costs but i'm pretty sure that you're gonna be making a lot more a lot lot more by just buying the double cash and waiting uh to progress in the game than buying one of these and just buying everything next thing i think you guys should check out if you do have robux and are willing to spend money on this game is the boost now actually if you do have the double cash you can actually stack the boost on top of this. So let me just show you guys. As you can see, I have the double cash, so I have a 2x permanent boost. If I buy the 10 minute boost for 30 Robux, let me buy it real quick and I purchased that. It actually just multiplies onto the double boost, so I get temporary 4x. It's not permanent, obviously, because it's just a boost, but the 2x is permanent since I bought the double cash boost. All right, guys, moving on to the next tip I think you guys will find very useful. If you guys are looking to get off the game and participate in, you know, other activities, maybe go outside, touch some grass, you know, <laughs> joking. Obviously, I know you guys go outside, but one of the best strategies I've used is actually to go AFK and use an auto clicker so you don't get timed out. Now, if you guys don't know, if you stay in this game for 20 minutes, minute will get timed out if you have no movement at all however if you pull up my auto clicker you can just set it to whatever you want and if you start this every five seconds you won't get timed out at all and you'll actually keep all the progress that you have now the only thing that kind of sucks with this is that you can get raided while you're offline and all your stuff that makes money could possibly be broken but what if you upgrade your shield walls and defenses that's a lot less likely to happen the next thing i recommend you guys do for some money is to spin the wheel now if you spin the wheel as you can see here you can get a ton of prizes that will increase your progress in the game now you can get cash and also the boost and you can also get some rare items kind of cool but let me go spin this let's see what we do get going down now hopefully i get one of the legendary items i've actually never got one if you guys did see my last video on war tycoon i did purchase 10 wheel spins for about 800 robux and i didn't realize that this is a complete waste of money so do not spend any of your money on these wheel spins all right but anyways guys i did get 100k cash which is pretty good especially if you're starting out and you have nothing that will be such a giant boost for you all right next thing i recommend is to get oil barrels and supply drops around the map now if we come over to the oil barrel section you can actually purchase this little area where you can deposit oil barrels for money now as you guys see i have the temporary 4x but if we divide 800 by 4 it's exactly two hundred thousand dollars a barrel which is actually kind of crazy but the only thing that kind of associates with this is you will have to have the large garage and you're gonna need to unlock the vehicle that holds oil barrels it's also the same for helicopters. Now, as you guys can see here, there's specific helicopters that only hold oil barrels. Now, I think there's one that actually has some guns on it. Actually, that might be non-existent. <laughs> so there's actually just one helicopter. It holds oil barrels. There's no weapons or anything on it. But the only thing that kind of sucks with this, guys, as I said before, is you're gonna need to unlock the helipad. But unlike the large garage cars, with the helipad, you actually unlock oil barrel holder helicopter as your first helicopter, and you don't need to complete any missions or anything so that you can unlock it. Also, as I mentioned, you can get supply drops for 
from around the map. They usually just fly in and you guys can see them. They usually, oh, there's one over there. So they usually just have like a lightning that looks like a beam shining into the sky. And if you fly your helicopter over it, you'll actually see which text is over which light beam and you can just go to it. And the airdrop will just fly out of the sky, parachuting into the ground. Pretty much just need to pick it up, press fly out. You don't actually need to carry it. It usually just gives you cash or a decent weapon. Next off, we're moving into the more basic tips that are more for beginners so actually if you guys want to stop watching the video here if you're more progressed that's no problem but please consider liking it i did spend a good amount of time creating and editing this video for you guys so if you did enjoy it please give it a like or consider subscribing all right moving on next thing i recommend you guys do is unlock all the money making machines before upgrading anything else in your base now most things in this base are actually not needed at all and you can actually keep your shield until you unlock your second floor so this pretty much allows you i'm pretty sure you can unlock all these oil rigs all the ones inside and if we also come down you can unlock the bunker as well as all the oil drills in here and also the water furnace i forget what it's called is but you can unlock all these before you actually get out of spawn protection which is kind of awesome all right my last and final tip for you guys is to upgrade your base's defense so people can't raid you and delay your progress now this is a pretty big one because if someone gets into your base and they start destroying all your money making machines you're pretty much just going to be stagnant as I mentioned before, more a problem for people that are AFKing. So if you're gonna AFK in the base, be sure to upgrade every single wall as well as your shield before going AFK. Also, I should mention that you can get this 10,000 shield health if you want to, but I didn't because I feel like the max shield is pretty much decent already. But if you want a little extra confidence that your base will not be destroyed, I would definitely get this if you are willing to spend money on this game. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this tips. As mentioned, earlier i try to put in only the information you guys will need unlike the other youtubers out there and include useless stuff that no one uses and that actually doesn't benefit you at all so if you guys did find this useful be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video